Hi guys, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel, Crime Stories Obsessed. Okay, so like you, I have been doing lots of thinking over this case. Everything from the beginning, from what we heard from Candace about where she was at the time that that video was shot in the car with the milk jugs. Okay, so we looked at where she could be and somebody actually drove that route and was able to see some pointers some markers of where she could be at the time that that video was taken not only that we have managed to look at that uh, from where that she said she was at the time and from where the guy that drove the route plotted and it was about eight minutes from the house you got her arm up no oh that's what i was trying to catch but she still got her arm up no. Oh, that's what I was trying to catch. Candace did say in an interview that it was about three minutes, two or three minutes away. You know, she's underestimated it very slightly, but it's about eight minutes away from where she lives. But then, as you know, I had this conversation with Grandma where as I got talking to her and she got to know me a bit more, I felt a lot more easier to ask her some more questions. And so I asked her a list of questions and one of them was, where were you when the milk jugs, uh, the, the photo of the milk jugs, how long did it take you to get home after that video was shot? And there has been some speculation since after Grandma said that it was an hour and a half after that video was taken with Summer in the back of the car that they arrived home. Now remember back to the beginning when everything was happening and we first heard of Summer going missing. We heard of the swimming hole and people were speculating that maybe she had a head injury or maybe she'd got some drowning from being in the water. Maybe she'd hit her head. Maybe somebody had got angry with her and struck her. Lots of different things that could have happened that day and obviously none of us were there and so it is just a case of us trying to make up theories as to what could have occurred. But what I was thinking was, maybe they were at that point that they said they were. Maybe they were about eight minutes from home. And they did that video. Candace was heard asking, does she still have her arm up? And who we've been told is Grandma. And Grandma said she was there in the car at the time. And it doesn't look like there's anyone else in the back. Apparently turned around and said, no. But it, it was the way Grandma said it. She still got her arm up? No. Oh, that's what I was trying to catch. She still got her arm up? No. Oh. The person in the front that is taking the video for Candace, because she's got both hands on the steering wheel, says no, but it's the way she says it. And it's, it's a very concerning way in which she says it. Now, since then, Candace has uh, said in an interview that, you know, she was... It was so cute because that's the way Don sleeps with his hand behind his head and, you know, she wanted to capture it. Well, I don't believe that at all. From the way that the person said, no. She still got her arm up? No. 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 Oh, that's what I was trying to catch. And the way Candace replied, oh. It wasn't a, oh, you know, it was a, oh. There was concern in her voice. My theory is that she did get to where she said she was and that video was shot and Candace did remark and say, oh, I think the car was stopped not long after that. I think they got out. I think they looked at Summer and realised there was no response from her. I think she ran Donald in a panic, whether it be from Grandma's phone or a phone that she has and I think she told Donald what had happened. I think she then arranged to drive which is why it took her an hour and a half to get home after that video was shot because it takes about an hour to get to about three quarters of an hour to get to Don. He said it took him half an hour to get home. So I think she drove to meet Don whether she met him halfway or um, she drove all the way quite fast and I think she dropped Summer off with him. I think she then drove home and they concocted some sort of story to say that they that she'd gone missing and that's what I think and that's why I think it took them an hour and a half to get home after that video was shot. I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section if I'm way off. Um, it is just a theory, but that's what's going on in my head right now, guys. 
Okay, I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye.